Hi there, I'm Ben, and thank you for joining me for another gold medal guide for Red Dead Redemption 2. The mission we're doing this time is a kind and benevolent despot. Just a quick warning, when you start this mission, you will be locked into doing the following four missions as well, as they are all chained together. Don't worry about getting your gold medals during your main playthrough, they are all doable via the replay mission option. Those are the attempts that you'll be seeing in my videos. If you do feel like you have to do them during the main playthrough, make sure you create a save before starting this mission. You'll have quite a task on your hand as you'll have to get all five gold medals in a row. Anyway, back to the mission that we're doing now. The objectives for gold are get Javier to safety in under two minutes and get ten headshots. As always, you need to complete both of these in a single run of the mission to get gold and they'll be in the description if you wish to skip forward. Both of these objectives unfortunately take place during the last quarter of the mission so let's try and get it done first time for you so you don't have to replay it. Right, I'm going to leave the commentary here and pick it back up when we finally get to have you. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Because you gone, friend. We... Look like what we are. Hi there, I'm Ben, and thanks for joining me for another gold medal guide for Red Dead Redemption 2. The mission we're doing this time is a kind of benevolent despot. Or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do... Whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. Fusar, one of the fellers Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis. Yeah, you're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. So, did you deal with those workers for Head Cool yet? Not yet. I will. But you don't think he's just using us? Almost certainly, but we don't have a lot of choice. He's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? Puede ya. Estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. Are you even trying? Just a... Just a bit more. Very <laughs> good. This way. See. 
Then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. For pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. You. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. Vamos, This way. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Why? Well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me puede acostar mujeres que usan zapatos. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. Okay. Now we need to create a diversion. Uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. 
<laughs> exactly. Got any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <laughs> This place will go. Okay. We are nearly there. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. We better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Come on, we can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Okay, so the sugar store is about to explode, causing a diversion so you can get to Javier. When it explodes, rush to the cage where he's being held, but don't bother with him. Dutch will help him. You just concentrate on killing all of the guards. Obviously, try and get headshots, but don't worry too much. There is a section at the end of the mission where you're not being timed and 10 enemies will show up. Any you can get now though will help you out in case you miss any later on. Also, they are the quickest way to dispatch of the guards. If you're struggling to get headshots, just lock onto an enemy, flick the right stick up slightly and this should bring you directly in line with their head. This technique does take a bit of practice, but once you perfect it, you'll be cutting groups of enemies down in no time. When you hear Dutch say, I'll grab Javier, this is your cue to leave and your two minutes will begin. You need to clear enemies out so Dutch can advance. So keep an eye on your minimap and kill everyone. Just follow Dutch and clear his way so he can move on. There's more coming! I'll grab Javier! You shoot us some space, Arthur! Get in that bomb, bastard! Thank you. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Follow me! There will be quite a few enemies to the left as you go around the corner of the building. You need to kill all of these before Dutch will move along. When that's done, Dutch will make a run for the exit and head into the sugar fields. You need to stay with him at all times. Don't slow down or he will. You will get chased into the field by the guards. Only turn around to kill them once their red dot appears on the map. Apart from that, just keep moving towards the river. Once you're at the river, Dutch will run off while you stay behind and hold off the guards. 
This is a good point to get any remaining headshots you may need. Once all of the guards are dead, the mission will end. Right, that'll be it from me. Hopefully this video has helped. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.